Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my curly hair routine. It's really easy to do and I've been doing this routine for the past two months and I am super happy with the results that I've been getting. Before we get into the routine, I wanted to show you what I use in the shower. I do have two separate curly hair routines in the shower. One is for when my hair is curly and one is for if my hair was just straightened. So my hair was straight, so I did a double cleanse for my scalp. The first product is the shampoo by Carol's Daughter. It's the Cactus Rose Water. I've had this forever and the conditioner was nice, but it did run out really fast because I use a lot of conditioner. So this is for volume and lightweight moisture and I can definitely tell that it works. That's why I like this formula. I like to get rid of all that gunk and dandruff and a lot of the oils that build up with a shampoo like this and then I go in with my curly hair shampoo. Before the holidays I picked up a set from Ulta and it came with a shampoo and conditioner. So these are the Diva Curl products and they're in 16 ounce bottles. This is the Diva Curl Zero Lather Conditioning Cleanser and I really like this. It has a lot of slip to it and to condition my hair this is the Daily Cream Conditioner and I don't use too much of this because the cleanser does have a lot of slip and I can detangle and I put this in from root to tip because for curly hair you just want to moisturize as much as you can and I like it again I have half a bottle I don't know how this happens um, so I haven't had to repurchase it and I will be repurchasing those products once they run out I'm committed to treating my hair with high quality products now so that is just my thing and they're sulfate paraben and silicone free which I really avoid silicones right now I do still have one product in my curly hair arsenal that does have silicone but I don't use it on the lower half of my head the part that touches my skin because I think that it makes you break out so I just avoid silicones so now we're going to move on to applying natural products so let's roll that clip my hair is currently in a t-shirt just gonna let it out and I clip it back with one of these things. So the first thing I like to do is just comb through it with a wet tooth comb. Then I'm going to split it down the middle so it's easier to work with. And my hair is quite wet, so when I squeeze it, I could probably squeeze some water out of it if I wanted to. Also, I normally do this standing up in my bathroom, but we're in my office right now, so it's gonna be a little bit awkward. So I only use two products. The first one is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Curl Smoothie for thick and curly hair. This is a moisturizer, it doesn't really have much hold. I purchased this a few months ago and I never used it up until probably two months ago because I realized that I could probably use some moisture since it was winter it's a white very creamy it feels like a conditioner when it's in your hands and I just go and get some like this and I like to work from the back to the front with this product I kind of go everywhere just to distribute it because this isn't really the holding factor so I just want some extra moisture and shine and I always make sure to go underneath my least favorite part about styling my hair is getting hair in my hands. The second product that I've been using is the Diva Curl Super Stretch Curl Elongator, Coconut Curl Elongator, such a long name. So I did do a standalone video for this product to review it and that was quite a while ago and I still have a good amount. So I love that it lasts a long time. Then again, I only style my hair twice a week because honestly, I dread it. So I have about that much and I'm going to start from the back and really make sure I distribute it evenly. And this is how I make sure the back of my head is coated. I take sections going vertically and I distribute the product like that. And this product is more of a gel consistency, so that's how it makes your hair elongated and look longer which is what I always like to go for, but my hair does still spring up, so don't think that it um, will make your hair not look curly because we still want a good curl. You just don't wanna apply this in globs or else it'll have hard pieces and I'm not really too into that. And I really focus it on the underneath layers because those are my longer ones. I do have layered hair. Once I feel that my hair is evenly coated, I can go like this and just feel like there's product in it. 
then we're done. And I will work on the top separately. So the next step I like to do is section off my crown because I actually have a lot of my hair in the top part of my head. So I need to make sure that I coat this separately. And I also get this section right here just to make sure that everything is really coated because I find that that is how I miss spots. If I don't go in and get these separate layers of my hair, just the tiniest amount. Back to the comb, I'm just going to comb everything out. This will make my curls clump together a little bit because I did separate them. Now I'm going to flip my head upside down Comb from the front, combing like this, super great angle. Now I can kind of flip my head back and forth and kind of mess up the top layers by my head and that'll give my hair some movement. And I actually like to part my hair on the side so I kind of find a spot where I think it looks good. So it's not perfectly parted right now, which is what I want. And then I'm going to separate it very loosely, very loosely. And I'm going to take vertical sections and clump my hair together. The key is to not pull from the root so the root stays kind of untamed and natural. So when I pull the curls apart when they dry, everything will be fine. So I have three huge sections. Now I'm gonna take a t-shirt and I'm going to scrunch the hair a little bit. This step is getting extra product, extra water, but it's also helping to revive the curls but keeping them defined at the same time. So now you can see that my curls are Defined, they're still kind of loose, but they will spring up. That is the nature of curly hair, so I don't really worry about it too much. And I'm very gentle with the back. So I still like to kind of mess with it, make it go all directions. This is such a weird video because it's just all these weird angles, but this is what I do when I'm in the bathroom. And now I just let it dry. So it's been a few hours now and my hair is basically dry. I don't feel any dampness. And there's one thing left to do, which is to separate my curls so they flow really nicely and they're not all clumped together. So I just start picking apart my hair and making sure that it's still going to be nice and defined. And I just kind of pull it out and see where the curls are clumped on the bottom. I don't separate the front pieces too much or else it'll just get too big and in my face. And to ensure that my hair is nice and big at the top, I actually go back and forth while my hair is drying and clip it in with a tiny little claw. So I'll clip it this way for a little bit and then I'll clip it back to the way I want my hair to dry, which is on this side of my face because I think this is my good side. And then to make my hair a little bit bigger, if I'm going for that look, I just stick my hand underneath. This is pretty standard curly hair routine like method. Um, you can flip your hair upside down. I don't do too much in the front, mainly the back to engage the root. <laughs> And if I want that really flipped over look, I can just take a little bit of hair and flip it to this side. I don't have a mirror, so it's kind of difficult. Oh my God. So this is the final result and this is how I like my hair to look. I like a little bit of volume. I don't have too many layers, so my hair isn't super big because I do wear my hair back for work. So I don't like to go too short with the layers, but I do have enough that my hair kind of moves and it swings and that's how I like it to be. And this longer bang in the front just frames my face really nicely. It comes to about my chin and I really like that. My curls are 
defined but still a little bit separated so there is some body. I do this routine every three days unless I decide to straighten it. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found something helpful or new. Any tips or tricks to add to your curly hair routine? Leave me a comment down below and tell me your favorite curly hair product because there are so many out there and I am curious to know what you love to use. I hope you guys are having a magical day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.